wanted to come here today to show and brag on this set that I just received in the mail today from Pink Angel, aka Sarah. Thank you so much for this. I guess it's an early Christmas present. Thank you so very much. I wanted these so badly. Um, they're very unique. They came from Amazon and they are in this box here. So they don't come in a box and um, they were actually, I've done open them and they were actually just inside the box here, okay? Um, so not a big fancy company or anything like that, okay folks? I put them in this sheer bag myself. Um, I purchased these on Amazon and they're great for tarot. Um, I didn't think I would like the sheer ones, but I do because I'm able to see through it, okay? But um, anyways, let's get to it, okay? There's the deck, obviously, the original 78 cards, and then we have the, it says the Family Tarot deck, and that's what it's called. Um, there was several of, several different artists that did this deck. I believe there are over 60 different folks and you can tell um it's kind of all over the place a little bit at times but we'll, we'll get to that um but then there's this extra card that's blank and i'm going to be honest folks i may keep that in there i may keep that in there and just maybe you know it's time for you to you know what i mean I, I just think I'm, I may decide to keep it in there. Maybe you're not meant to know. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's go through these cards, y'all. If you are very intuitive, these are a great, great deck for you. If you just read cards, I probably wouldn't suggest this deck. Um, it would be harder to read, okay? But if you are indeed gifted, then I highly suggest this deck. Because these cards, you will see, they do not have, like, you just, the interpretation of these cards is not the usual interpretations, okay? All right. Now, some of them are. Okay. Here's the full love 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 let me scoot it over so we can and i love the backs okay they're very bright and very colorful but this is the full here is the magician okay that's very right or weight very original Okay, I love this interpretation of the High Priestess. Love it. Here is the Emperor. This is a very interesting card. You could spend a lot of time with these details. With your intuition. Beautiful. Here's the Empress. The lovers. And apparently we have faith rather than the hierarch. Which I I love this card. Look how it's like a hand reaching from heaven or some higher source. You know, trying to get your attention or to reach out to you. Beautiful. We have the chariot. Look at this, y'all. Look at the the line on that, or that face on the line. It is crazy. And then even the goofy look here, you know? But yet, she's still in control. But clearly, this line doesn't like where he's going, okay? He does not, he's, he's not happy where he's going. 
And it's almost as if this is laughing at where you're going. Or like, joke's on you, you know? Okay. This is the strength card. Very beautiful. I'm assuming that's a dogwood, maybe? Maybe. I'm assuming. Okay. Here's the hermit. Now, y'all y'all know the hermit card. That's the one where you isolate yourself. But look how much is going on here. There is no isolation. <laughs> They are alone, but there's so much going on around them. Interesting. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. I love this Justice card. How cool is that? But look at this. That scale's awful tiny, isn't it, y'all? He's got a tattoo that says, I'm pretty sure that says life. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm pretty sure. I don't even see, like, I, I feel just the expression says a lot, you know? Okay, here's the hangman. Look at this. Up in your head. It's almost as if you're a zombie. Because you cannot focus. The death card. It, it's almost like you just want to crawl back in your hole and die. You know, that's how I'm seeing this. Okay, we've got temperance. Very beautiful. Here's the devil. Two faces, y'all. Here's that two-faced person. Probably playing both sides of a fence. Look, it, it's like he's even whipping himself almost. This one face is like, it's almost as if he's, you know, there is two sides of him and he's hurting himself. So this could definitely be a card for someone that's struggling with addictions, their self. Okay. Now, this is a cool way to see the tower. A lot going on in this tower. This is like a... Like what? A computer type. I don't know. Something. It, it's just really cool. Very cool. I could go on and on and, and see lots of things in these pictures, y'all. Okay. We have the star. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful blue. The moon. We have the sun. You're focusing on you, not really paying attention to what's around you here. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Look at this judgment. How cool is that? Lots going on in this. Um, it's like a decision you have to make is making you sick. Literally sick, you know? It's like you know with this third eye, the dis choice or the decision that you have to make, but it's making you sick. Then we have the world. Very 
I, I feel like a lot would be going on in your life right now. Things would be, you know, closing up a chapter and starting a new one, you know. But just a lot of things going on at once. Your world changing. King of Swords. I don't know, I just feel like somebody with a nasty attitude that needs to go through a transformation. Even the Queen of Swords, look at this. Even her, it's like she's really kind of sneaky like, isn't she? Well, she's naked, number one. Okay? And, yeah, it's like she's just almost manipulative. Here is the Knight of Swords. I see, as soon as I see this, I see someone coming in to rescue, flying in on a dragon. Like going to war for someone else, protecting someone to save them or something like that. In a hurry. Now, this is very, very interesting, y'all. Page of Swords, look at this. I want you to look how innocent... That fox looks. How innocent and cute, right? No, foxes aren't cute in tarot. Foxes are sneaky. S foxes usually show up when someone's trying to hide something, like with the cheater cards, you know? So, we can't forget that this innocent little look is a dat burn fox. <laughs> Okay, here's the Ace of Swords. And it, with that Ace of Swords, it's just with these colors and that beauty, I, I just, I feel like whatever truth this is, you know, there is some lightning, but, and some, like a mountain back here, but I feel like whatever truth this sword is cutting through, it's going to bring beauty. We have the Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. Love this. Look at that heart. I'm not even sure what this would be here. And there is not a book to this, y'all. So... I'm going to have to try to Google online to see if I can read something on it or order one. Um, I would just have to read it online right now. Hopefully, it's available. I will put the link of the cards in the description, okay? Here is the Four of Swords. Got their hand up and it's like, wait, I need a minute. I need some time. You're taking a time out. And you're, I feel like you're the one like, hey, stop. But you're the one putting the time out. You know? Here is the Five of Swords. So much going on, y'all. Six of Swords. Look at this, how beautiful. Walking away into self-discovery is how I look at this card. I feel like something has been weighing you down, anchoring you, and you're just going to go for it. But look what's out there waiting. The sun. Happiness. Not these walls, you know? Okay. <clears throat> Speaking of foxes... Here's our seven of swords, the little sneaky thing. We have the eight of swords. It's like with the eight of swords, it's like this is that stuck, trapped feeling, okay? That mental hell that we put ourselves through. 
It's like you know you're doing this to yourself. The Nine of Swords. Look at this. You probably have a nightmares. That is crazy. Ten of Swords. King of Swords. Look at this, y'all. Look at those red eyes. This man knows a lot. And he can, or this is the King of Cups. Oh, wow. Yeah, of course he knows a lot. He's the King of Cups. Very intuitive. But, but look, why is his eye so red? I definitely need a book on these. Is he, know, does he know so much pain that it's filling his eyes? You see what I'm saying? Beautiful. Your intuition, your imagination just lets you run wild the queen of cups look at this speaking of knowing look she knows everything literally everything very transparent the knot of cups the page of cups very soft very um a lot of love in this happy, you know, there's this Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, look how this one's not a part of it, Kind of being left out. They've not even got their cup in their hand. Hmm. Four of cups. Five of cups. Six of Cups, definitely look at this. Someone's missing. Looking back. Or if this isn't you missing someone, this is someone keeping their eye on you going back to someone. You see what I'm saying? Like, why is someone so concerned with your past? Like, did they, is that their third party or your third party? Watching y'all reconcile. Interesting. This is something that took a lot of time. With the lilies here. A lot of thought. Here's the seven of cups. Look at this. I see two choices here. But I also see faith. So do you need to choose your faith? Interesting here, y'all. Very interesting. Eight of Cups. Going into the, like, just not knowing what's going to go on. Taking a chance. Almost like, you know, the uh, Fool here. The Known versus the Unknown. Here's the Nine of Cups. Every cup is filled and stacked. Abundance. Now, let me fix this camera a little bit. I don't know if it's the camera or if it's just where the cards are a mess. <laughs> I love them, y'all. Like I said, if you're gifted, these will be great. But if you're a slightly new reader, I just don't know if this would be the right deck for you yet. This is the Ten of Cups. See, that don't even have ten on it. But that's the Ten of Cups. Here is the King of Wands. Look at this. 
the snake around his head. It's almost like this, <laughs> this line is rolling his eyes almost. Queen of Wands. This will be the Knight of Wands. The Page of Wands. Love this. Look at this Ace of Wands. I think she's very pretty. But she has some massive hands. Look at the hand, y'all. Doesn't fit her body. Look, she's like, um, she has a wand here. And her thoughts here, there's, it's like she wants to turn these clouds into, like, transform them, you know? She's thinking about this offer that she's trying to, I don't know, something's going on here with transformation. We have the two of wands, which path. Three of wands. This is, like, when I see this, I see a fire burning in your soul. Like, you want something more from something. Four of Wands. Interesting. Wow. Everyone uniting. Everyone's different. We have the Five of Wands. The Six of Wands. Ta-da! That's what I thought when I seen this. <laughs> Someone showing off. Someone with a big ego. Like, look at me. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands, very traditional. Nine of Wands, interesting. Very busy, lots of stuff going on. Different way to look at these, wow. Ten of Wands. It's like, when I see this, well, I see yin and yang, but I see someone reaching out because usually the Ten of Wands is someone with, like, the weight of the world on them, and it's just so burdened. But here I see, come on, sister, bring it. Is that all you got? So rather opposite. <laughs> King of Coins. Someone's really watching over their money. The money's very important to this king. We have the queen of coin. And see, queen of coins, she's clearly more giving. Even the artwork is lighter in abundance. The Knight of Coins. Someone's reaching out. I, I feel like in different realms here. Page of Coins. Someone is thinking about someone they've lost. Someone's losing money in the process. They're not focusing. 
So they're losing money. It's like they can't get focus. They're literally setting on the world. They're setting on any sort of living, okay? They're they're just in this dark place. Gosh, and that's the page of coins, y'all. Ten of coins. The family here. The dog looks awful sad. <laughs> Nine of coins. Not sure what this is, I'll be honest. I don't know. Eight of coins. Oh, oh that burn it. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm not redoing all these. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it. Eight of coins. Someone's really putting in the time and effort into saving some money. Working hard on something. We have the seven of coins. The six of coins. This is very interesting. Look at this. It's like he doesn't know who to give money to or who to help out or doesn't quite understand something and it's really stressing him out. Five of coins. Left out in the code here. Alone. You know, some they usually have someone with them, but this person's alone. Four of coins here. Bringing both worlds together for a solid foundation, I see. Maybe from a long distance relationship or something. Three of coins. Two of coins. This is complete opposite. Two of coins is usually juggling and all over the place. And watch your step because you're juggling. But look, trees are firm, grounded foundations, okay? It's a tree. And look how balanced those two coins are. You've got it under control. You, you're you doing great with it. Um, you have found balance. And here's the Ace of Coin. Wow, it's beautiful. So, you could interpret this as you reaching out for an offer. Or, actually, I see the intentions, her putting out intentions of an offer. And waiting for this transformation. Beautiful. Well, you guys, I hope you guys like this deck. I know I love them. And again, Pink Angel, oh my goodness, thank you so much for gifting me these. It made my day. I was having kind of a Debbie Downer day. So, thank you so much. It made me feel so good to have a package in there and know that you was thinking of me. I appreciate it so very much. You guys, the link for these cards will be in the description box. I hope you like them. I want to hear about your thoughts and comments on these cards, okay? I'll see you later. Bye.